Uh, this is again Kevin DeCoran. This is the third time that I am um, producing a, a video about this, this thing that just happened with Imago Day. Um, right now I'm standing outside of the police department. Uh, evidence is this is the precinct right there. It's the city of Portland Bureau um, right up there. And there's the American flag. Um, Starbucks is across the street. I'm usually there every morning when I get sexually assaulted. But this morning I'm right here on the outside and um, of the precinct and I can't seem to get the police department to respond um, to come out here and take a report. I spoke to two different op police officers um, and I told them to tell the front desk that I needed uh, somebody to come outside and speak to me because I've been barred out of the precinct. Um, I think they were preparing me for uh, or something, I'm not exactly sure what. The front desk has not responded, and um, a cop just came out and made a left turn and went over to um, Main Street, but did not stop here and talk to me to take a report. Um, apparently, they knew what had happened at Imago Day, that I was sexually assaulted twice last night, uh, both oral sex, vaginal sex, and um, they took my hat, and they also... Um, called me a nigger, so I, I was trying to make a, an official police report, but I don't think these Europeans are going to allow a police report to be taken because it's their race and um, it's their people and it's, you know, they're protecting Rick and, and the establishment, but it's the American Red Cross that, that allowed it to happen. There were some people, there were some Christians, I had spoken to one Christian woman when I had walked in and tried to explain to her um, my fear of being on that property. At, um, not on the church side, but on the, um, you know, being hosted by American Red Cross, and they cut me off from talking to her, and um, and decided that they cut me off from talking to her and brought her to the back, and they started talking to. They, then they brought two people out, um, actually three, uh, an old white man playing the role of John MacArthur, so he's probably he was probably on the uh, property, um, and. Um, that guy in the spirit just knocked the phone um, off of my hand. And then there was a uh, short, stocky, uh, I guess, white guy who was playing the role of Gabriel. And then this sort of like Hispanic, I'm not exactly sure, who was playing the role of uh, Dee Franklin. And uh, so all three of them were there last night. Um, and in the background was Jonathan Zabo, and I'm not exactly sure who else. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to walk away from the precinct without a police report. Um, and this is the support that I get from the precinct. They're protecting John MacArthur. They're, pro they're probably uh, protecting Rick McKinley. And they're probably protecting uh, American Red Cross. Nothing is going to be done. Um, so this was my fourth time getting sexually assaulted on that property uh, by Gabriel Franklin and her son, Dee. And so this is, at, 40, at the age of 43, this is where it's at with the American people. Um, and I don't really know what's going to happen in Beaverton when I try to upload these three videos. I don't know what's going to happen at um, the different places and the different spots because, you know, they come out, and when they come out, this is what happens. Um, you know, this is, this is what I'm having to deal with. Uh, it's freezing out here in Portland, and um, I have no shelter. They won't allow me to uh, rent in the city. They won't allow me to do anything um, with the churches, and this is, you know, behind this situation is... Uh, Gabriel Franklin and Dee Franklin, John MacArthur and his staff, and um, now Rick McKinley is, uh, I mean, I have nothing against him personally, but um, his property has, has just been um, stained with sin four times, and so I'm not exactly sure where he's at in all of this. I haven't spoken to him once. I did tell his staff, though, it happened twice before, and then, to, and, then to, and then last night, so, you know, God be with the property and the, and the staff there. Um, I, I don't have any more to say. That was the report that I was going to get to the police department. And since I'm outside, I'm sure they have cameras and uh, speaker phones and whatnot. And the police have been going in and out, so I'm sure they heard what I have to say. But nothing is official, um, as as everything that has been done has ever been official. Um, so. You know, they're white people and they don't give a shit about blacks. And so I don't think I'm going to get any kind of respect out of this anyway. So, you know, may God have mercy on, on, on this situation. And uh, I guess I, I can offer a prayer. That, that That's probably it. Um, just that God would have uh, mercy and that his just judgment would be just against what has been happening against me. I mean, just because I'm not European doesn't mean that I shouldn't get any kind of 
human respect, um, God is the one that brought me into the city. God is the one that brought me into this life. God is the one that brought me into uh, this state to live. This is his planet. Um, we are still subjected to his uh, divine ruling. And when man does not do uh, what he demands, then he has to step in. And so my prayer is that he will step in and he will crush the enemy. If the enemy is Gabriel, if the enemy is John MacArthur, and uh, if the enemy is the American Klan or the police department in Portland trying to drive me out of my mind. Um, I don't have a mental illness, um, but it certainly seems like this is where it's going. And um, Gabriel has struck before. And uh, if I know Gabriel, you know, it's not the vagina juice that she wants to leave behind, but it's put, putting me in a casket, which is what she did to Tony Gascon and Jean Marie uh, back in the 80s. And so if the police department now is working together with her and her son and with MacArthur, uh, this is probably where it's going. And, you know, and my prayer is that God would step in and not allow him to do this, because I definitely don't want to be the slave of a Haitian woman, an American Klansman, uh, on this continent because I don't believe that God approves of slavery um, or approves of sexual immorality and rape. So, may you pray with me in this church. Amen.